like a disturbance. I think that a lot of people just don't appreciate being videotaped like without their permission. Just like, why is this happening? Well, you know, when you're in, they have numerous cameras inside the building. But it's like, this feels a lot more aggressive than that does. Why are you recording? I'm recording my stamp purchase transaction. No. Yes? No. Can't do that. It's a federal building. What does that mean? You can't. You can't do that here. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagant's Press, here in Ennis, Montana, a uh, little town with I think a little over a thousand people population, and uh, today we're at the Ennis Post Office. As usual, we're going to take some video here on public property and see if the folks who respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. It's great to be back out on the road finally. Uh, put up our first video of the full-time RV trip uh, today from West Yellowstone, Montana. Uh, make sure you check that one out if you haven't seen it. It's a pretty uh, lively one. And... Uh, it's going to be great to be able to travel full time and bring you guys plenty of content. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Come along for the ride. Let's try to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'll make sure I get my dollar ready to get my stamp. Let me give you a little view of the sign here and then we'll take a walk around the building, I guess. Yeah. United States Post Office, Ennis, Montana, 59729, located at 81 Mountain Highway 287. So this is the uh, rear parking lot here. Postmaster parking over there. Oh yeah, Postmaster exclusive parking. Guess uh, he or she's not here today. Yeah. So this is the only uh, marked postal vehicle so far. Yeah, is this the mail truck? Yeah, <laughs> rural delivery. It's actually funny, out in the middle of nowhere, they ride around in those cars with a little light flashing on the top. So this is where the Postmaster would be uh, parked here. And this is their uh, loading gate. So you can see into the uh, back there. I think there's a first, absolutely no signage on the door. Is there anything on the second door? Uh, just a sign that says they're no longer providing garbage or recycling services. I guess uh, the post office was providing garbage and recycling service. I told you, multi-use. Yeah. Multi-use buildings out here. Yeah, so this has got to be the, uh, the first no signage post office. I think so. Yeah, the same thing. This is the sign that was on the other side. The NSPS is no longer providing garbage for recycling services. So it looks like they have a little bit more signage in here. We'll check that out when we go in. <laughs> That's pretty funny the way they were. Read this second paragraph. <laughs> Take your garbage home. I love it. Well, this place cleared out pretty quick. There were four or five cars here when we got here. Yeah. It's like they evacuated. 
we're gonna stick around for a minute see if we can get a couple of uh local folks coming in to check their mail yeah and we will be going inside to get a stamp it's like starting to, to drizzle see. a little bit yeah it is starting to drizzle oh if it starts to rain we're going like to Hang out under the, uh, the uh, entrance here. On and off drizzle all day, huh? For days up here. Yeah. Yeah, the sun just came back out. Yeah. Got busy, busy. And it changes with the weather. <laughs> nah, it's like everybody's waiting for it to stop raining. Yeah. Right away. <laughs> oh, they do. Yeah, you can see the clouds coming. What are you guys videoing? Sorry? What are you videoing? Oh, I'm just in the middle of doing what I do, but thank you. Ah. We've got a community posting board here. Oh, they have a retired flags. That's cool. American Legion Rabbit. Well, you know you're in Montana when the post office is advertising the Weather Bee Vanguard giveaway, right? <laughs> here's uh, another posting board here. And uh, here's our poster seven. They almost have a Massive problem with invasive weeds or something everywhere, everywhere we go. go right? yeah. There's always posters about uh, noxious weeds. What are they doing? Like the one person at a time in here? I don't know. Yeah. I some some kind of limited thing. It seems like this building was dedicated to public service in 1991. George Bush, President. Anthony Frank, Postmaster. Excuse me. Oh, look at that skin. Yeah, pretty cool. Madison County, that's where it is. Madison County, there you go. Couldn't remember the name of the county we were in. Stamp, please. Why are you recording? Recording my stamp purchase transaction. No. Yes? No. You can't do that. It's a federal building. What does that mean? You can't, you can't do that here. You can't record in a federal building? I don't think so. I think you can. You have to have another dollar. It's eleven dollars. No, I just want one stamp. Just one stamp. Just one stamp, yes ma'am. Well, if I get fired, you guys are in trouble. You won't get fired. Did you ever read your poster seven that's hanging up out in the lobby? It's what good. Poster seven. poster seven is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. And it's hanging in every post office across the country. You have it right out here. And it uh, gives the public the right to record or take photographs anywhere that's not a restricted area on the property. Ah.
So I, I won't get you fired, I promise. And my name's Jason Lisa. Come on. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you very much. There you go. Alrighty, you have a wonderful day. You too. Would you like your receipt? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, actually, I will take it. Why not? Throw in the scrapbook. Thanks, Lisa. Have a good day. Thank you. creating a disturbance or anything with anyone? But it feels like a disturbance. I think that a lot of people just don't appreciate being videotaped like without their permission. Just like, why is this happening? But you're in public. This is weird. Like, I don't understand. Well, that's why I stopped to explain it to you because I just didn't want to break what I was doing. But now that I'm done, but I'd be happy to answer your questions. Why are you doing this? What we do is, this is my son. My name's Jason. Ben, nice yeah. to meet you. And we have traveled 44, 44,000, 46,000 miles in the past two years by road, uh, visiting municipalities, jails, uh, detention centers, police departments, FBI buildings, post offices, anything that's owned by the government. Um, standing up for people's rights and making sure that people's civil rights and liberties aren't being violated. Do you feel like they are? We've been in post offices where we've been in much different experiences than this, yes. Specifically because people don't like you videotaping? Well, a lot of the employees are under the impression that you're not allowed to videotape because it's federal property, which only means that it's public property that you and I pay for. I mean, I think that you're making people uncomfortable. Do you? Yeah, I mean, I feel uncomfortable. I don't like this. Well, you know, when you're in, they have numerous cameras inside the building. But it's like, this feels a lot more aggressive than that does. I'm a, am I being aggressive? I'm trying to be very cordial. I approach you to explain to you what I'm doing because I don't want you to walk away with any concerns or fears about what we're doing, so I'm happy to I answer. I feel like you have an agenda that I don't understand. I do. We're, defi we're standing up for people's rights. We, st we go to traffic stops where people are being interrogated by the police and make sure the police aren't violating their rights. We, we're out standing up for people's rights. You know, rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they go away. <laughs> Yeah. And a lot of people in this country just sit by idly watching their rights vaporize into thin air and we're just out there trying to be proactive about it. Have you made progress with that? I believe so. I have uh, 280,000 subscribers on YouTube and I get about 100,000 views a day. So I, there's plenty of people interested in I what we do. I kind of feel like this like exacerbates it because I feel like it puts people on edge and perhaps that could well, make you know them what? behave worse. Growth is not comfortable, for sure. And everything is a learning experience. Now, whether somebody chooses to learn or not, I'm out here getting an education myself every day. Am I going to be on your YouTube channel? It, I don't know if we'll use this video or not. If we use this video, probably. I would prefer to not be on your YouTube channel. Well, but again, see, that's part of the education that we're out here presenting to people is when you're in public, you have no expectation of privacy. So when you're out in public, you don't realize how many cameras, like even here, for example, I've had people say to me, well, the cameras in the post office are security cameras and nobody can watch them and nobody can do anything. With them. But the truth of the matter is that most people aren't aware of is any citizen can FOIA request public information, any of the video from these cameras, and you can do whatever you want with it because it's public information. I wish you luck. I do believe in freedom. I don't really like being videotaped. Well, have you done anything to stand up for freedom lately? I invite you to because our, you know, your rights are in jeopardy right now. All of our rights are in jeopardy. There's a lot going on in the world. I am currently living as freely as I can and not imposing on other people's rights, which I recognize is not apparently as active as what you're doing. Well, you're having a voluntary conversation with me. Not really. I want to leave. Oh, you're, I'm not holding you up. All right. I wish you luck. Well, I wish you luck, too. Stand up for what's right in this world. It's very important. That was a very strange... Uh, conversation there well all right guys uh you saw how that went um looks like we're gonna wrap it up unless something else uh, happens while we're standing here which seems to happen all the time um but you know you saw 
you saw how people responded, and uh, the employee here thought that uh, we were not allowed to film because it's a federal building, when in reality it's explicitly the opposite. Um, everyone has the right to film inside of federal buildings. Hopefully the employee uh, looks into it further and uh, gets educated, educates herself on uh, the people's right to take video in the uh, post office. And, um, you know, some people like that last woman we were just talking to uh, probably won't get it. I mean, maybe she'll think about it later, but uh, some people uh, just don't get it. And some people will uh, take an experience like this and uh, learn from it and educate themselves on public photography rights. So uh, that's about it for this one. Not, not very exciting, but uh, that's what it is. And uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, so if you like this video, you appreciate what we do, and you want to see more videos like this one, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out my other social medias, all that stuff. And uh, that's about it for this one, guys. Watching The Watchmen, out with Amagansett Press, here in Ennis, Montana. See you next one, guys. Uh,